Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. It's me, Dr. V. Jai Kumar. I make lecture videos for the benefit of mechanical engineering students. In this lecture video, we will be dealing all the concepts involved in balancing of single rotating mass. Before we proceed, I request you to press the subscribe button and also the notification bell icon so that to get notified every time when I post a brand new video on this channel. So let's get started. As discussed in our previous video, balancing of masses problem can be broadly classified under two types. One is balancing of rotating masses and balancing of reciprocating masses. Under balancing of rotating masses, we have three subdivisions. Same manner, under balancing of reciprocating masses, we have four subdivisions of problems. In this video, we will be discussing about all the concepts involved in balancing of single rotating mass. To better understand the context of balancing of single rotating mass, let us consider wheel balancing, balancing of car tires. In this case, when tire rotates with constant angular velocity, it exerts some unbalanced force, some out of balance force. This unbalanced force is caused not by the entire mass of the tire. Mass is not spreaded uniformly across. So always there will be some unbalanced mass which needs to be balanced. That small unbalanced mass creates the out of balance force. M omega square R. Once we know the out of balance force, we can very well balance it by adding balancing mass. That is the gist of the story. Now let us understand the theoretical concept behind balancing of single rotating mass. This is the actual balancing problem. In order to understand the actual problem, we need to draw front view as well as side view of the diagram. As you could see from the front view, the unbalanced mass is shown by a circle dot and the distance between the axis of rotation and the center of the unbalanced mass is represented by R. In practice, we will not be having like there is a rod, at the end of the rod there is a mass. No, that is a schematic representation for solving our problem. Hope that's clear for you. Once we know the unbalancing mass, radius of rotation and angular velocity omega, we can very well determine the out of balance force, which is nothing but the centrifugal force, which is Fc is equal to m omega square r. So m omega square r is the unbalanced force. There are two ways to balance this out of balance force. Method one, is by introducing single revolving mass in the same plane and the second method is by introducing two revolving masses in different planes. We will solve both the methods one by one now. Let us start with method one. We will balance single rotating mass by introducing a single revolving mass in the same plane. We already know the magnitude of unbalanced force. What is that? M omega square R. And also we know the direction of unbalanced force. What is that? It is radially outwards because it is a centrifugal force. So we will be introducing balancing mass which is denoted by M suffix B at radius of rotation denoted by RB in the diabolically opposite direction. As you could see in the side view, we will be introducing the mass MB. 
So we need to determine the value of MB and RB. That is the problem. How can we find that? We know that the disturbing force, out of balance force must be equal to balancing force. So when I equate M omega square R with MB omega square RB, M into R equal to MB RB. So here known values are M and R, unknown values are MB RB. By suitably taking the value either MB or RB, we can find the other value. That is the solution for you. Now let us move on to the method two. Sometimes it is not possible to introduce balancing mass in the same plane in which disturbing mass M is placed. In that case, two masses can be balanced in different planes. As you could see in the front view and the side views, two balancing masses, namely MB1 and MB2 are placed in plane B and plane C in two different planes. Here, the out of balance force is acting in plane A. When we try to balance that by introducing the masses in plane B and plane C, we are facing with new problem of couple. Since forces are lying in different planes, it will induce couple. So, for complete balancing of the system, we need to take care of two things. The one is balancing of forces. The second one is balancing of couples. Now, applying condition one of force balancing, we will get unbalanced force, m omega square r, is equal to sum of the centrifugal forces due to two balancing masses mb1 omega square rb1 plus mb2 omega square rb2 equating them we get equation number one now let us apply condition number two which is nothing but balancing of couple let us take moment about any point point a b or c let us take here moment about c we will be getting equation number two. So using equation number one and two, we can very well determine the required values of balancing masses MB1 and MB2. That's it. This is how balancing of single rotating mass is done. The key takeaways of this video are summarized here for your ready reference. Hope you like this work. If so, support the work by liking this video, sharing to your friends, subscribing the channel, and hitting the notification bell icon. That's it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.